Recently, President Anado initiated the fight against Kalamse with the hope of saving the dissipation of our forests and water bodies. Evidence shows that some of the people who sabotaged the effort of the president were people within your party. What assurances are you going to give us that as much as possible, you will ensure that these people do Honorable, not take advantage are you, are of political... Are you mentioning anybody specifically? Is Otherwise, it? you assume that he knows somebody who sabotaged somebody. Oh. If not... Oh, I said some of person. the people, some of the people, it's clear. It's that this one is public knowledge. In fact, source. Don't ignore Min their Former side. Minister for Environment. Honorable, ignore their side and talk to you. Yeah. What, are you, what assurance are you going to give Ghanaians that you will not condone such po of political apparatchiks using political influences to get into such situation where they will sabotage efforts of a sitting president in mitigating some of these things that affect our environment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, we all will acknowledge that in every government and in every dispensation, when you are rolling out policy or implementing policies, especially when you are dealing with very intricate, complicated areas such as illegal small scale mining, you will have problems. There's absolutely no two ways about that. I have taken time to understudy a lot of the literature, and it is clear that when Honorable Unis of Husseini was Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, he encountered a lot of problems. And he will admit it. When my uncle, Alaji Collins Dauda, was Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, he encountered a lot of problems. When Honorable Peter Amewu, I went into the Lands and Natural Resources Ministry. Similar problem. Honorable was much, um, it's not an exception. So I want to agree with you, Honorable Member, that in, in such crusades, in such fights, you will come across challenges. You will come across stumbling blocks. We all know it. It happened on the NBC. It's happened on the MPP. You will have party people. You have big wigs who want to frustrate the situation. But what is important and what I can say without a shred of equivocation is that the President of the Republic, Nana Adedan Kwakufuadu, is absolutely committed to making an impact in this illegal small-scale mining industry. He, 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 his policies were rolled out in the first term, and indeed, there were some achievements, there were some challenges. If I get the opportunity, my instructions from the President are very clear, that I should go there and keep my, my head focused and work hard to ensure that we reduce the incidences of small, illegal small-scale mining in our country. Mr. Chairman, look, anywhere you have extractive industry, we, here we call it Galamse. In South Africa, they call it Zamazama, Zama, and it's a big issue in South Africa. You talk to the Minister for Mines in South Africa, you admit that illegal small-scale mining is such a big issue for them. So, yes, I agree with the uh, Honorable Member's uh, assessment of the fact that you will have uh, people in your own party and in, uh, chiefs and so on and so forth trying to frustrate the situation. But I want to give a firm assurance that I'm very clear in my mind that if I get the approval from this house, I am moving in there, and I'm not just talking, I'm moving in there to, in all humility and modesty, apply the law without fear or favor. That If I don't do that, I will set myself for failure. 